Hello, my name is Fiona and I work at the Mississauga Library. Today we'll be doing more with railways and minecarts in Minecraft. Uh, so, I was going to show off the railway that I started building before, before filming, but it ran into a bit of a problem. Perhaps you can see. Uh, the problem is llamas. So we have a profusion of llamas everywhere and when I was testing my track uh, the minecarts started hitting the llamas and when minecarts hit animals in Minecraft then they get stuck in the minecart like this one. Um, so I've been trying to figure out ways to deal with the llama problem. Uh, I wanted to make a track from our base all the way to the circuit museum because I had a plan to use all the colorful wool we got from the rainbow sheet to color code this because right now it's a little bit hard to figure out which is which. Um, but we have to figure out the llama issue first. And I'll show you what happened. So let's say you have a minecart track and you got powered rails and there's two stops. All right, and I've turned on the power rail with a redstone implement. So we'll put a minecart on it, and it's just going to bounce back and forth like a perpetual motion machine. Now, when we add llamas to the mix, so I'm going to leash a llama and bring it over. Oh, OK, so eh, let's get rid of the leash. Come on. So as you can see, as soon as a llama walked by, not the one in the leash, but the one following it, it got stuck in a minecart. And it's going to be stuck in there forever until I do something about it. But the thing is, the llamas are just going to keep on wandering by. So I have to figure out a way to herd them or something. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Hold on a second. And ta-da! I made a merry-go-round. Let me show you how it works. So if you put a minecart on it, give it a little bit of push to start. It's like a fancier version of our previous perpetual motion machine. Uh, so I've already captured a bunch of llamas uh, on the minecart track. I've just truncated it to make it more um, manageable right now. And so where the marigold round connects to the minecart rail line, the main one, it's what um, train engineers might call a T-junction. So there's one main line going left to right, and then there's a third way that's joining it, like the letter T, like the capital letter T. And so what I've also built is a switching mechanism. So what that will do is it will switch the track onto the other part of the T-junction. So like this. And so what's going to happen is that our llamas, whoops, let's fix that. Oh boy. <laughs> so what's happened is that I toggled the switch at the T-junction, so in digital circuits and electronics, this type of switching is actually called a flip-flop, and specifically a T-flip-flop, or a toggle flip-flop. So a flip-flop is kind of like a gate, it has two stable states on and off, toggling left and right. So the input is a signal, in this case from the leaper, and based on the signal, 
it will toggle to the next stable state. So pretty cool, we made a llama merry-go-round. So let's toggle this so that we can get our friend over here. So we're going to toggle it there. Let's get rid of that. And let's connect it up again. Hopefully no one's gonna spill out. No, we're good. All right, let's give him a little push so that he can get into the merry-go-round with his friends. Come on. Come on. Oh no! I think we need a bit more power. But you go back. You go back. Back, back, back. Come on, Lana. There we go! So, we've now creatively solved our llama problem with a llama merry-go-round. Uh, so, thank you for watching. Please visit our website or Facebook page for details on what's coming up and all of our digital 24-7 services. And that includes uh, downloading ebooks, audiobooks, music, magazines, movies, and a lot more. To learn more about Minecraft, check out our Minecraft ebooks on Overdrive. Bye!